morning, Quadcopter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of the new Aurora uh, Airfun Pro 95. Now, Airfun Pro 95, as you can see here, is another little micro FPV racer. Uh, this one is a brushless micro FPV racer with uh, 7,500 kV motors. Uh, actually, they are uh, BE 1104 7,500 kV, kV motors. Uh, comes with an omnibus, omnibus flight control board, F3 flight control board, loaded with omnibus 3.1.0 via beta flight. Um, it does have a 600 TVL camera with 48 channels selectable, 25 millo or yeah, 25 milliwatt power output. Um, it comes with 401 ESCs. Uh, they are 20 amp ESCs to power these 7500 kV motors, so that should uh, give it some oomph. Uh, one thing though that I noticed here is the way that this is designed. It's, it is pretty thick carbon fiber, but if you look at it diagonal or uh, perpendicularly, you can see it's not very wide. So um, the way you know <laughs> they made it uh, very thick, but not very wide to keep the weight down. So this this will be interesting. Uh, I think it'll withstand impacts because it is carbon fiber. But you know, just notice that <laughs> very thin in this direction <laughs> so uh not not wide i mean um let's see what else uh it has on-screen display and with that on-screen display you can also configure the pids since the on-screen display is in, uh, integrated into the flight control board um you can you know adjust pit settings and uh, other uh, flight control settings and I'll, I'll try to demonstrate that before i take off and also it has a beeper and LED lights on the back, so beeper for low voltage warning, and they also help you find it if lost in the field. And finally, the uh, battery it comes with is a 7.4 volt, you know, 2S 500 milli uh, amper hour battery, 500 milli amper, <laughs> yeah, 500 milli amper hour. I'm sorry, and it's uh, 30C, so it should give us some oomph, and we'll try to find, uh, demonstrate that also. So let's go for a flight of the Arfun Pro 95. And see how it performs hope you enjoy this flight okay as you see i have the uh free sky version what i'm going to do first is do a real quick uh, short uh, line of sight flight to demonstrate it you know so you can see it flying up close but following that let me turn this on too following that we'll go right into acro fpd flying so uh powering up the quadcopter by plugging it in put it on my landing pad and we should be bound we are bound and arming the way i set it up i set it to arm with this switch here and taking off in angle mode now with that 20 amp ESCs, this should have a heck of a lot of punch let's see it does <laughs> you want to see that again it is really zippy folks you know, with the, that battery and those 20 amp ESCs and those 7,500 kV motors, very punchy. So let's land it and we'll go right into acro flying. So hope you enjoy the rest of the part of the flight. Okay, let's go right into the flight. Um, making sure I am in acro. Acro is selected. And arming the motors like so. And let's take to the air and see how it performs. Armed. Okay, we're armed now. First off, let's see how its camera is. I'm going to make sure I got good visual on my camera. It's my going up and down the field here. Do a flyby of us. It is fast. Especially with that this powerful uh, motor and 30c battery and 20 amp ESCs. it's fast little bugger <laughs> i mean there's where's people coming? over here over here Br bring it over here what do you mean over here no i mean that you're where's the people at down the field or which way they're going to this way towards Lito or okay i'll stay over here at this end of the field then So we're going to stay on this end of the field. Where is it now? <laughs> are, we, are we from there, right? Because they're right, walking. The lady hand is walking. Don't go that. 
Okay. okay but wow, a... wow, 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 this is a good one. Okay, I see the lady. I'll stay okay. away from her. Stay away from her. This oh, is a wow. wonderful flyer. I don't go too close to her. Okay, I haven't done anything, done something yet that I need to do. Just go up and. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Did I say wow? <laughs> Holy moly, you don't really need to give it much to do a roll. Ouch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, I had to bend a few things back into place and plug a few other things back into place after that. But, uh, wow, did you see that roll rate on that thing? Uh, I'm going to have to t take a look at the pids here shortly. But let's go back up into the air again, selecting acro and arming. And how much voltage do I got? I still have some voltage left, so let's go back up. Make sure it works. Here we go. This time, I want to examine that. How about the pitch rate? I tried to do a roll there. Okay, the pitch rate isn't like that roll rate. That roll rate was extreme. <laughs> <laughs> so, those of you who might want to adjust the pitch, <laughs> the, or I mean the roll rate on this is extreme right now, the way it's set up, folks. But let's finish out the battery, and then we'll take a look at those pids. Let's get some close flybys of this. It's fast, huh? <laughs> Another one go by. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Okay, there folks, you go. I'm going to call it quits <laughs> on that one. Let me put the hat on. And we're going to take a look at those roll rates here in a second here. Um, okay, I'm going to go find it. And the way I'm going to find it is turning on its beeper. This one, the way it is set up, it is set up for extreme flying. Uh, you better be an advanced flyer to fly this one because it is not for beginners or even intermediates might have a little bit of a problem here. Make sure I'm disarmed. Okay, let's finish this battery flying in an angle mode. I still got a little bit of power left, but even in an angle mode, it's kind of oomphy. Very punchy too. <laughs> Let's bring it in closer and just let you see it. The battery's going now, so in hover mode, but that's it. That's the R fun. 95. One of the most aggressive micro FPV racers that I've flown to date. This is, I guess people are going to enjoy this one. This is going to be a hit. But uh, you are going to need to. Uh, Tone it back a bit, because even for me, it was, even for me, <laughs> it was extreme. So, it's Quadcopter 101. Hope you enjoyed this flight. I'm going to end it here. Quadcopter 101, signing out. Okay, the first thing I want to show you all before we take off is that you can actually uh, adjust the PIDs on this with your transmitter. All you need to do is move the stick up, and the left stick up and to the uh, left. That's the throttle stick and move the pitch roll stick up and that should enter into uh yep there we go uh, the menus now you move the right stick up and down to adjust the menus so you want to go in and adjust your pids you go into profile and move the stick to the right and then down the pid and then move it to the right and there's our pids so you can adjust them and you can just adjust just about any other um uh, other feature that you want to adjust, particularly rates here. I, I flew this yesterday and I was really surprised how fast this thing can roll. And uh, it's got super roll. <laughs> I pitch super. I'm thinking about turning those down. You know, it just really rolls like a, the Dickens. Uh, but let's back out of this. I'm not going to mess with that today. And I'm going to fly it the way it was yesterday. But uh, this time, I'm going to be a little more gentle with the roll.
Okay, so I'm arming it and going to acro. And let's go for a flight in acro with this, with the uh, Airfun Pro. We're ready to go. Well, I changed the, since yesterday, I changed the channel that I'm operating on. I'm hoping, and I'm seeing a little more um, interference than I saw yesterday on this particular channel band. But let's go for it. Okay, going down this way. Coming through the trees. Okay, now this thing has a lot of power, folks, and a lot of speed, and I want to show you that. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a fast quad. And maneuverable. And again, it's got that, if you put, put the pitch over too fast, or the roll over too fast, it will roll really fast. Let's pick it up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Actually, let me go the other direction so the sun's not in our eyes. But going this way, and going up, and See what I mean? <laughs> you got to be gentle with the roll if you're going to be doing um, acrobatics with this. Gentle rolls. Like that. Don't kick the stick over too hard because the roll rate on this is extreme. Very extreme roll rate. It can, and it's got tons and tons of uh, oomph to it, you know. You kick it in the butt, and it really will take off into the air real fast. Uh, there's my puppy there. You gotta be more careful. <laughs> so, actually, this is a great quadcopter, folks. Uh, one of the better ones I've seen in the micro, micro range. <laughs> I tried a little trick there, but I'm I'm gonna wreck it up if, before the review's over if I keep doing that. But a very good one. This would be an excellent racer because of the power it's got. See what I mean? Try to keep it close to show it to you folks. And the pins. The pins are set up nicely. So, all in all, yeah, great quad. They are fun pro. Oh, I don't want to hit those trees. Got a little bit of breeze picking up here. So it's just got to fight that breeze. But that's okay. Because of the breeze, I'm not going between the two little trees there. Great little quad, our fun pro. Aurora's been not some great quads lately, and this one will not leave anybody disappointed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Almost hit the tree. Okay, no, I still got power. Okay, 3.5 volts now per cell, I'd say. Still got seven volts. This battery's giving you a lot of flight time. How much flight time? Three minutes, 54 seconds. Okay, now it's below 3.5 volts per cell. So I will bring it in here. So, our fun pro. Well, come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. Come on forward. Come on down. <laughs> Try to get that pad. I, I <laughs> never hit the pad. Never. <laughs> Close enough. So I'll take the hat from my wife here. So folks, that was the R-Fun Pro. Great quadcopter, actually. This is, but one thing though, this keeps popping out every time I make a hard landing. I'm gonna probably glue it in there. The light bar comes out of its uh, little hole there. But all in all, the R-Fun Pro is very, one of the most powerful little uh, micros that I've flown to date. Um, lots and lots of punch to it. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, Quadcopter 101. 
Signing out.